Hey friends, welcome to The Neat Life. You definitely want to stick around for today's video because I am sharing some really cool ideas, some tips and tricks on how to organize and store things in small spaces, whether you have a small house, small apartment, a small office, or just any small space in general. I'm going to be sharing some really neat ideas with you, so you definitely want to stick around and be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so before you get into like creating new ways to store things, you definitely want to declutter, make sure you minimize your belongings first, because a lot of the time it's not so much that we lack space, it's that we have too much stuff. So definitely do that first. I wanted to make sure to say that before I start showing you um, some different ways that I like to store things. Um, but if you have a sofa that's raised um, and you have space underneath, take advantage of that space. I just use baskets and bins to um, slide in and out to grab what I need, when I need it, and then just simply put it back when I'm done. You can't really see it. The further back you push them, the more hidden they are. But if you get like some really cute ones that are like really nice and uniform, then you can pull them up as far as you want and it'll just look like a part of your sofa. Okay, so another space to take advantage of is underneath your bed. If you have a bed that is raised, then you definitely have space underneath to store things, so take advantage of that space. Um, I just use bins with lids mostly because I don't want like dust to get on my things. This is an open crate, but it's a rolling crate, so it's really convenient. These are really great. Um, just for like all the little things that you don't necessarily like have anywhere to put, but you know their necessities. At some point, you're going to need to pull them out for something. Um, so you want to make sure they're hidden away, but you also want to make sure you have easy access to pull them out when you need them. Okay, so I just talked to you guys about storing things under your bed, and I wanted to specifically talk to you guys about the stuff that I store on this side of the bed, which is my side of the bed near my makeshift closet. Our apartment lacks closet space. We have one small closet. Terrence uses that, and I use this makeshift one. So if you lack closet space, you definitely want to get a makeshift closet that you can place somewhere because they really come in handy, and I love mine. And because it's smaller though, I do have to transition my clothing per season. So I, right now I have all of like my fall and winter clothing stored in the basement and I have all of my summer clothing out. And once it's time to switch that around, I will just store all of this in the basement and bring out all the winter fall. Um, and just like I store all of my seasonal clothing away. I also store all of my seasonal shoes away and I love this because it slides right under your bed and it's so easy to just pull in and out when you need it. Um, I love that it keeps all the dust off of your shoes. So right now I have all of like my fall and winter uh, boots and things in here, some occasional shoes like for special occasions and then over um, in my closet I currently have all of like my summer sandals and all of like my year-round sneakers um, that I use and just like I transition all of like my clothing and my shoes I also like to keep all of my like winter wear like gloves and scarves and hats um, underneath the bed and so I just store them in this little bin keeps all the dust out and it's easy to just pull in and out when I need it and I also have another bin uh, that I store all of like my caps in because I don't always use them and so this just makes it easy for me to pull in and out when I need them. Okay, so just like I told you guys, we do lack closet space, so we also lack a linen closet, obviously, so what I did was I had to get creative and I also just really love this ottoman, but I got a ottoman with storage space and we have it at the end of our bed and this is where I store all of like our extra bedding, so all of our sheets, pillowcases, some seasonal blankets that I transition um, per season, just like, just like all of my clothing and my shoes. So this just makes for really great extra storage if you lack any. So I definitely recommend an ottoman with storage space. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys my little cozy corner because this is where I transition my blankets per season. So like right now, 
I have some of the lighter blankets out um, because I definitely still like to have blankets on hand year round. And then I'll bring out all of like my folly, like wintery ones when it's time for that and put these in that ottoman that I just showed you guys. And I also love this little basket that I use for slippers so we could just come and grab um, and replace whenever it's needed. Okay, so I actually shared this space in my last video. We do a lot of closet space, but we have this really nice big pantry, um, but it's like a multifunctional space for us because we need the space. So we definitely store food in here still, but up here we store just a lot of like decor, things that we don't need all the time, but definitely need to have on hand. And what I really wanted to show you guys was this really cool rolling cart, which by the way, I love these rolling carts. You can use them for all kinds of things. We use it for like our back stock. So this is like bathroom hygiene back stock. And I just really love the use of this. And you can just roll it in and out when you need it, which we don't really ever need to pull it out. We just grab what we need. But there are all kinds of ways that you can use these cards. You can use them as bar cards, as snack cards, like in your classrooms, in your offices. Like you can use them in all kinds of ways, get really creative with them. This is the way that it works best for us. And I just love the rolling, like anything rolling is great for when you lack space um, because you can just hide it away when you need to and then pull it out when you need it. Okay, so another fun little tip are these little magnetic shelves. If you lack space in your kitchens, take advantage of your magnetic surfaces. There are so many in your kitchens. Um, so I use this magnetic shelf um, for like our masks, which we don't use that often anymore, thank God. Um, our lint rollers, just like little sprays and things that we use on the go um, when we need them. And then this one over here, I really love because I use it for my oil, so it's right by my stove. It's stuck to our um, microwave and I use it for my oil and definitely, you know, I love decor, I gotta have decor, so I added a little decor, but it comes with these little hooks which you could use for like your pot holders or like your oven mittens. So I really love these and I definitely recommend these if you lack any kind of like shelving space in your kitchens. If you lack a medicine cabinet, find some kind of cabinet that you can use. So I use the space above our sink. I have some back stock like household items over here. Over here is where we store all of our medicine. So I love these little bins. They're so great. They just slide in and out. And this is like our first aid stuff. And then we have like vitamins, things like that, our thermometer, some more medicine, like vitamins, and then some more like first aid stuff, alcohol, um, hydrogen peroxide, wraps, things like that. So if you lack any kind of space for like your medicine or like household back stock, um, definitely take advantage of like those random cabinets that you have like above your sinks or above your refrigerators. There's always like these really high cabinets and you're not sure what to store up there. Take advantage and use it for things that you don't always need, but you definitely need to have access to if you need them. Those are great spaces to take advantage of for things like that. Okay, and just a little tip. If you're living in small quarters, then you definitely want to take advantage of any space that you have. So we use these hooks here. So we usually use this more so like in the winter, like when we come in and take off our sweaters, um, you can just put them on there. I sometimes hang my robe from up there. And then in here, like we have another one hanging for all of our brooms and mops and things like that. Okay, so this is my favorite little space. This is our supply drawer. If you lack an office or lack an area to keep little things that you need occasionally, like pens, pencils, paper clips, little things like that, then find a drawer. Instead of a junk drawer, create a nice supply drawer that you can go to when you need these things occasionally. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed these tips and tricks and that you found them useful. Um, if you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss the next video.